YouTubers. Welcome back to AZ2 Ozarks. It is August, but here in the Ozarks, it is changing to fall. So I'm trying to get ready to plant my fall gardens, but part of what needs to happen is I need to clear more space in order to plant those. So I have cleared this front area of the garden, which is where all the sweet corn was. And it wasn't as big of a harvest as I had hoped, However, we still got a lot of tasty corn out of it. Probably, once I got it off of the cobs, about four to five pounds. So that wasn't great. We'd have to plant a whole lot more corn in order to feed our family for the year for sure. But the next batch of corn is the popcorn. And it's a strawberry popcorn variety that I had ordered through Baker Creek Rare Seeds. And I'm going to show you what's going on. It might be a total loss. These strawberry popcorn plants have done really well. They're not super tall. They're probably an average of four to five feet high and they've remained pretty healthy, though our last storm came in and kind of knocked them sideways. We did have a previous storm that knocked over a lot of corn, but I stood it back up and it continued growing. The silks on these, many of them are starting to dry, which is an indicator that it's getting close to harvest. But typically with a grain corn or a popcorn, you wait until the plants start to die back and brown. Though I have checked on a few to see what's going on with them, and I have to show you. This is really, really disappointing. So like this guy here, I opened up and do you see that mush? the cob is just mush and there was a caterpillar in here but where is it there it is so these caterpillars are in a lot of these I, I not a lot in every single one that I have opened and they have eaten the corn and totally ruined it so we'll keep opening more to see if there's any that um, are well formed and harvestable. Let's open this one up here and see. Look at that. Another worm. You see it there? Caterpillar. So we're doing organic gardening and we're not even using sprays that are considered organic like in the past, we would use BT or something of that sort to kill the soft body worms. However, I've read a lot about that putting your garden out of balance and affecting your future years of growth. And so I didn't want to do that this year. The only method we've used this year is by physically pulling worms off, um, especially the tomato plants. And you can see that this corn isn't even quite finished here. It turns completely red, the kernels but this one is another complete loss. And so usually these guys, I just collect them and feed them to the chickens. We'll look, oh, let's look at the backside. Oh yeah, that's just nothing edible on there. Well, darn it. I have just about 200 of these plants and each plant has three sometimes two, three ears of corn on it. And it looks like it's gonna be a loss. Darn it. Okay, this one is an example of more of what it looks like when it is ripe. So these little kernels down here are the strawberry popcorn kernels. However, you can see there's been a lot of caterpillar damage here. And it was really good germination though. It was nice and full. Looks like it should if it weren't for insect damage. So I'm going to spend today clearing out this corn. Um, it's it's a, a big loss and this does happen when you are doing organic gardening. Um, this is why people use those icky chemicals and pesticides and all that stuff in order to prevent this from happening. But we're going to learn and grow from this and we're just going to do our best. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to keep following our adventure.